Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props, and in today's video, we are going to be adding these amazing little LEDs inside the Villainous Prop Shop helmet. It is a super, super simple thing to do, but man, it really, really makes the helmet stand out. And if you're interested in picking up this helmet and finishing it yourself, go head over to their website or their Etsy page, links are below, and watch the other videos in this series to see how to make it look like this. This has been a really fun series, and I really enjoyed it. Let's head behind the fake wall and start putting these LEDs in. Okay, so let's start putting these LEDs into this awesome helmet. Now, I get these LEDs on eBay. They're $9 or $10. They come totally wired and ready to go. Now, you're going to need a heat gun to sort of mold them and a glue gun and some Velcro to install them. Now, they come with a little piece of diffusion material on them, and I'm sure that's supposed to be there if you want these nice plates that looks just like one big LED, but you couldn't see through it at that point. So you need to cut this stuff off so that you're left with just a clear piece of plastic and that neat little grid pattern. Those little dots in there will actually make it so that the light spreads out. Then you're gonna put some batteries in. They take triple A's. Again, these are totally wired. You don't need to add anything. You're totally ready to go. And as you can see, flip them on, they work just fine. And as you can see too here, you can see my hand behind them. You can actually see through these. Is it a little bright? Yes, uh, but you can do it. Now, the helmet is curved and these are straight. If you want it to look good, you really want to heat these up with a heat gun so that you can mold them to the eye slots. Now, don't force it. Make sure it's hot and malleable. I've tried to push too many times and sort of bend it when it was not warm enough and I've cracked them. I've actually used them uh, to look like it was a battle hardened, but make sure you be careful because these get kind of hot. And as you can see, it's still warm, and I'm able to press it into place so that it totally fits and looks like it's a nice curved surface. Again, be careful, it's a little warm, but they turn out really well. You can see how they're nice and curved and ready to go into place. And for that, I just use a glue gun, and I use a little small glue gun because I don't need tons of it blooping out here. And you give it some liberal coating of glue, let it dry, and it'll hold it right in place. Now, sometimes glue will go on the other side. I just pop the lens out, clean it off, and start over. Things happen. You're not going to get it perfect the first time. And if you do, fantastic. Now, we need to put the battery pack in. I just put some Velcro. And usually I mount it in the sort of nose area. There's plenty of room in here. And uh, I test it out first. I do a little bit of cable management. You could clean this up a little bit more, tape it in place. I usually don't. Nobody sees it but me. So let's see how the helmet looks when it's on now that the LEDs are in. Uh, I love these things. They really, really make a helmet stand out. So again, super simple. We put these magnets and the elastic in last video. So as you can see, these LED really just elevate these helmets. And I've used them before. You can get them on eBay. They are super cheap and they just make the helmet look fantastic. I can see out of it, I can still move my head around, the battery pack isn't in the way, and it looks fantastic. So if you wanna take your helmet to the next level, these LEDs really, really do the trick. They look amazing, that little grid pattern. I love how these look in a helmet, and the fact that you can see out of them is an added benefit if you're gonna be wearing this on a con floor for a cosplay. Now that we can hopefully be doing that again, possibly this summer. So there is one more video in this series and that is gonna be on weathering. That is when we take this pristine looking helmet that we worked so hard to make look great. We are gonna add grime. We're gonna add scratches, we're gonna add dust. We're gonna make this thing look like it is battle worn and ready. And that'll be in the next video. I hope you liked this video. Thanks a lot and I will see you in the next one.